that I can see all of y'all here. So I'm checking on our YouTube channel and I'm also checking on our Facebook feed to make sure that I can see you guys. Um, and then we're gonna get down to it. We have a fun free tip Friday today. We as in me and you. We're gonna have a fun time. Let's see, here it comes. I can see I'm live there. And let me see if I can find us on Beadshop too. Let me make sure I'm muted. I never quite remember, as you know, to mute my, oh, and there we go. I can see, and you guys are jumping on. Excellent. Let's see here if I can get everybody up and running. There we are, and let me see if I can see you. There we are, I can see all of you all. Perfect. And I think it's a little bit brighter in here. Uh, what do you guys think? I've added some lights. We're getting better every broadcast, so hopefully we won't drop out today. Um, there might be somebody in the hallway meowing. I don't know if you can hear that, but um, maybe he'll come in and make a special appearance a little bit later. You never, ever know. All right, well, I can see everybody is jumping on. Excellent. I can see you guys here. Um, all right, and I can see all of my YouTube people, all of my Facebook people. Fantastic. Great. Good. Good to see everybody. And I see my mama. There's my mom. There she is. Hello, mama. Um, great. And Janice. Janice is on. There she is. Excellent. Oh, and our, our kitty cat, Sam. There's Sam. There he is out there. I love that so many. And Gita's here too. Fantastic. Everyone's here. Gita is here doing some moderating as beadshop.com. Thank you so much, Gita, from across the miles. You know, I love that you got in the bead shop group on Facebook called the Bead Table. If you haven't joined it, uh, come on over and uh, give yourself a, a, an invitation. You just have to answer a few little questions, uh, and we'd love to have you join us. Um, and just a side note about our group, you guys. I was jurying some people in the other day. I think it was Wednesday, it might have been. And I accidentally deleted about 10 of you that wanted to join, and I pushed the wrong button. So if you just tried to join us this past week and you haven't gotten an answer from me, rejoin. So I'll be glad to have you. I was, oh my gosh, and I couldn't find, uh, once you're deleted out, I can't find you again. So come on over and rejoin. That was my fault. So sorry about that. But I do love, what I do love that you guys are posting in the group, I love that on Facebook Live Day and Free Tip Friday Day, a lot of your pets watch with you, which I think is fantastic. So all of those sweet pets that are out there. How are you? You're real cute. All right, there it is. So uh, so we are getting ready. We are um, uh, jumping in and uh, Today we're gonna to play with our monthly mix that I've got here and I've got some other things down on the table here that I wanna uh, show you. But these past couple of days, as you know, Janice is coming next week. And Janice says, you know you're coming next week. You're gonna be in the office here on Monday. We're so excited. Making sure that everything looks its finest. And so I have been going through a lot of our old projects um, and kind of arranging them and, and uh, putting them up in our new archive, which I'm going to share with you guys. I think you're going to love it in a couple of free tip Fridays. Um, I'll do that. Um, and then, uh, so I was looking through some of our old projects. Number one, I'm wearing one of them here that I've got on me. Uh, this is Bay version that's based off of um, our, uh, why, why can't I remember the names of anything anymore? <laughs> I was just looking at it. I've got everything else written down. Across Cultures, for gosh sakes, there we go. Um, our um, Across Cultures um, uh, uh, bracelet I did into an Across Cultures necklace. So that's kind of fun. So. Um, I've got that going on uh, that I'm wearing and then I've got some other old favorites on the table in front of me But before I get to those old favorites, maybe I can get to this old favorite over here. Hey 
Old favorite? Do you want to come over here? Come over here, old favorite? Do you think maybe he would? Come on now. Come on up. Come on over here. I don't know. Maybe he won't. Nope. He's going out. Well, maybe uh, Alfred will come back uh, at the end of the broadcast and say hi to everyone. Um, okay. So let me uh, let me go ahead and uh, move this camera around, and you guys can see what we've got going on here. Okay. Um, let me do that. I know. Then if the internet uh, drops out at all, um, don't worry, it'll come back. Don't worry, I will come back. We're getting a solution for that too. So I'm sorry sometimes live streaming is a little bit like the Wild West. So thanks for hanging in there with me. Okay, so uh, let me move the camera around. I'm going to come around to the side. You're going to look at this fantastic back, uh, background, and uh, let's get started on what we're going to do today. So the Primavera is our monthly mix for today, or for this month, rather, right? And some of you have seen it. Some of you have been uh, loving it as much as you. It was a little bit of a group effort that was led by Cara, um, and especially uh, named by Cara. We just love the name Primavera. Um, and I think it's perfect for our spring needs, right? If you are anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere, in the US or Canada, you guys know that it's been kind of a chilly end of February, early March, right? So um, we're really glad for a little bit of a dose of spring. So we thought that our, um, that our Primavera would be a fun way to uh, just give us a little bit of spring that we wanna be kind of happy and spring-like for sure. So there we go. Let me get this all together. There we go, that doesn't look too bad. Right, we're good. That looks like everything is moving right along. We're still alive. Fantastic. Okay, good. So let's, uh, and sorry if we're skipping around or a little bit or if your stream isn't connecting that well, just hang in there. You can always watch it on, um, on the rebroadcast of what we've got going. So again, thank you uh, for sticking in there, right? Everybody's saying, what do you mean? It's been freezing. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been kind of a cold uh, early spring. I know, spring is going to spring any moment, which is great. So we are ready for that to happen. I know you guys are too. Let me see if I can brighten this up uh, just a little bit here. Bear with me um, if I can brighten it just a little bit. Let me see if I can get it one more brighter. I'm seeing if uh, it'll react here. Here we go. Come in one. There we go. How does that look to everybody? Not too bad. Okay, great. Alrighty. So, whoops, sorry. I made the picture a little too small. There we are. Alrighty. As you know, Fridays, it's a little more like the Wild West because uh, I'm going solo on this, but uh, thanks for sticking in there with me. Um, okay, as you said, yes, look at what you see on here. This is poetry. You've got a nice close-up of that poetry, okay? Um, poetry is one of our old faves here uh, at Bead Shop. It's a project that Janice debuted, oh, I don't want to say years and years, but a, a while back, right? Uh, it was a great uh, brainchild uh, of hers, and it's a classic for a reason, right? This is just simple. Let me get in here so you can see it nice and tight up close. And especially if those of you guys who are new, fairly new to us, and haven't seen that poetry project um, or seen it up close, these are some of our older, um, our older samples that we've got here. Um, and again, it's the classic for a reason. It's really just a beautiful, simple stitch, simple macrame stitch. Um, 
that uh, we just love here. Um, let me do this, sorry, let me try. I'm trying to get this the cast off of here just a little bit. It's a little orange. Let me try this here, bear with me here just a second. There we go, I think I like the looks of that. And maybe we'll get it a little bit here. Maybe that's a little um, that Done with pearls, right? We do this with just a simple freshwater pearl. But when you vary up the thread size, the Ceylon size in this case, um, it really gives it kind of a different uh, a different look. So we've got a beautiful green, we've got kind of this mocha, and we've got kind of this very light peach here, okay? Um, all of these kind of pretty things, and this center pearl here, it's actually this light peachy one, but they all kind of read kind of the same. And notice here we've got, we've mixed this up with not only the freshwater pearl, but the um, check fire polish, which is here too, which is gorgeous. So I pulled those off the wall and took, uh, took a look at it. And I thought, uh, as I was cleaning, I also came across this bag of stuff. And Janice, I think, these were from a project that Janice did, oh gosh, I don't know, before I came back on board. And it's the Heart's Desire project, I guess, is what this one was. It's all about using um, micro macrame, little tiny, um, little tiny macrame stitches, and tiny beads. In this case, Janice used um, semi-precious, some of our two millimeter and three millimeter semi-precious rondelles. And so when we took the photographs for, um, uh, for, and I think this is Heart's Desire, um, correct me Janice if I thought it was, and uh, when she was trying out the different um, projects and stuff, or different, um, you know, what she was gonna make with it, she also made this really, these cool little samples that we've got going on here, right? And, I just love them. I found them in a bag. I'm gonna get real tight on them so you can see them. I found them in a bag and I was like, oh, I really wanna show these because these really wouldn't see the light of day um, kind of in a regular Facebook Live broadcast. But um, but I did, I did wanna share these with you because I thought they were just really charming and beautiful and a great way to kind of see how we prep for projects and stuff like that. And, uh, and we're using the micro macrame. And I think this, this type of project, maybe uh, combined with the poetry kind of project, I think is just gorgeous. And it really evokes for me spring. And so the way we might do this, and that's why I brought out some um, pieces here that we could use. So let me scoot this over. And let me scoot the poetry out of the way, okay? And I'm gonna bring our tray in here. And if you haven't gotten a tube of the Primavera, I'm gonna open it up. It's the monthly mix for March, March 2019, if you are watching this on the replay later, okay? And the Primavera, uh, all of our monthly mixes, you know, those of you who watched a, a few weeks ago when Ali Mori was here, um, you noticed that the monthly mixes, they do sell out. They are in a mix, a limited edition. However, we always have the mix up on the site so you can make your own mix after the fact. So if you watch this later or whatever, you can, um, you can always make your own mix. And in a couple of weeks, in my Patterning with Stones, I don't know if you remember that project uh, that Emily and I did a while back, Patterning with Stones, but we're going to, um, uh, I'm going to do a new patterning with stones project, but the stones are going to be a monochromatic and I'm going to pattern and make a mix for the background. So we're going to kind of, I'm going to show you a little bit 
behind the scenes how we create a mix um, and then how I'm going to use it in kind of this fun and simple project. I cannot stop touching these darn beads, right? Aren't they fun just to kind of play around with? Um, when Allie was here, you saw her, uh, or she talked about um, sorting her beads. The first thing that she does when she gets her mix is she starts to sort her beads. And I think that's always a great idea. Um, especially if you have no idea what you're going to be making. Sorting out the beads will kind of, I don't know, help you start ruminating over them, kind of start to see what colors and what beads are together with them. Whoops, my square fell down. If you don't, or a triangle, if you don't have one of these little triangles too, this is a good, um, I don't know, must have basic tool, something like that in your kit, right? So you can see in the monthly mixes, sometimes we pop in a specialty bead. In this case, in this month, let me pull it up a little bit so you guys can see it. This month, it's a cube. And it's one of just really that beautiful kind of frosted white cube. It's just gorgeous. And then we've got some six aughts in there. Uh, we've actually got one to three styles of six aughts, which I know is crazy talk, but we couldn't help it. And this color aligned, I know it's hard for you to see again on camera. Let me see if I can get super tight in there. This uh, six aught is a color aligned six aught, and it's a yellow color aligned six aught, which is, I just think is gorge. And you can see if you go to, um, to our monthly mixes, uh, or you can always find the new one if you just click over onto Just In on our website. Um, usually everything, all the newest stuff is right there. And indeed, as I click on uh, Primavera, on the Just In, and I look at it and you can see there's the, the whole list of it. This is the lemon silver lined alabaster. Uh, that's what this, I think that's what that was. Let me see. Yeah, because this is the dyed pale peach silver lined alabaster. And then this green one um, is the matte transparent chartreuse, which is beautiful. Um, I wanted to throw in, I used this Duracoat in an 11 knot. One of my favorite beads in the whole wide world, um, especially in spring, especially when it's green or getting green outside. You know, here in California, we're not green all year round, uh, but spring, our hills turn from the gold that's usually our, what our golden state is named for, um, and they turn such a beautiful lush green. So this is the um, fennel. It's the um, Duracoat Opaque fennel, which I think is just gorgeous. And it's such a, it's almost a celery kind of color. It's so unusual, but it adds such a good backdrop um, to this mix. And then uh, that's the 11 knot. So that's the only 11 knot we have in here. Then we've got the silver line gold, which is this little charmer right here in an 8 knot. And then we've got the matte transparent yellow AB, which is here. So that's all of these, what kind of makes up this mix. And isn't it funny, you guys, when you're looking at kind of the sum of the parts, how different it looks um, than, um, than it does all mixed together. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the mixing in, that, um, in the Patterning with Stones uh, broadcast that's coming up. But, but I just think it's so funny when we look at them and then we mix them all together. It's pretty fun. And um, we also have, we have a really special monthly mix coming up in April. I don't want to um, let the cat out of the bag, so to speak, but um, it's a really good one. I think you guys are going to love it. Uh, so I won't, I won't, uh, I won't say anything else. And then in May, we have another, uh, another fun one. Janice is tackling that one in May because May is her birthday month. Okay. So let me get back over, sorry, I've been looking at the monthly mix. Let me go back over to our YouTube feed. Wow, okay, Janice, you are just listing like crazy over here. So um, 
thank you so much. But you can uh, find it again, as I say, everything on uh, on the blog or on the website. It's all there. And Janice, Janice, it looks like you already let the cat out of the bag. So uh, yes, next month's mix is uh, an Ali Mori made mix, and it is very luscious. And she had a little help from another one of our members of the bead table, though I don't know if they knew that they actually helped her. So um, we'll, all will be revealed in the April mix. Okay. So, uh, so, here's, so here's these guys. So if I'm working with the monthly mix, this is what I've got going on. Okay. Then if I'm going to do maybe some kind of mashup, let me make this a little bit bigger. If I'm going to do some kind of mashup with what I've got with the poetry, again, let me make that a little bit bigger there, and um, this Heart's Desire piece that's over here, I'll put these kind of over here, and maybe in the Heart's Desire, if you look, if you go online and you look at the Heart's Desire project, you see that it's kind of, the neck of it is kind of a poetry, poetry-esque, and the front of it is a super lush tassel, okay? So the monthly mix, I think, would make uh, an exquisite uh, lush tassel if we, even if we just laid, look how I, we just started maybe with our poetry there and we tasseled something down from there, it would be really incredible. I also pulled, poetry is also all about getting a nice dainty little button. Uh, and so the dainty little buttons that we have going on, I just pulled them real quick, but we've got this copper peekaboo button that I love. This is our still lotus button. And let me get it in a little bit tighter so you can see it. I feel like that's one of our buttons that we don't see very often, that we don't use very often. It's a sterling silver button, which is just beautiful and you can see how small it is because when I put it up next to our little lotus and our little vine um, buttons you can see that it's even smaller than that so we have several of these little buttons like this that uh, that you could pull from it's pretty nice and I know you're going Kate why don't you just measure it all right I'll just measure it for you um, let's uh, zero that out get my beloved millimeter gauge it's uh, a little under 10 millimeters okay so it's a nice size for something as slight um, or as delicate as poetry is so you can make poetry a lot larger too whatever whatever you like I also thought that we might want to pull um, some check glass because uh, we've got uh, our check our seed beads here, right, with the mix, which would again be great in the tassel or in the actual poetry project itself. But I pulled some colors uh, that said spring to me. Uh, this is the um, Milky Celsian um, three millimeter fire polish, which I love. And this. Um, this is the polychrome copper rose, okay? Um, and uh, the silver button, Sherry, is just a small vendor that we use. It's kind of a, um, they're sometimes hard to get, so we don't always have them in stock, but the sterling, it's just a beautiful, I just, I just love this one. And with the sterling on there, I think it's great. Um, the polychrome copper rose also looks beautiful with this. Let me get in a little tighter. I don't know how true these colors are actually on the screen. The polychrome copper rose might be a little more mauve than it looks like here on the screen. Let me put let me put something white behind it. Might be easier for you to see it. That might be a little bit better. There it is. And you can also check it out on the website as well. But this is one of my these polychrome beads are some of my favorites, I, but I love it in the rose. It's, it's a, a deep color, but it also has a lot of softness to it. Okay, so there's that. Then I also, so speaking of kind of like tiny beads, tiny check glass, I'm gonna move these guys over a little bit here. Um, 
so I can have a little more room, I pulled uh, something that might brighten it up. Look at this. This is the two millimeter fire polish, the True Two is what they call it. It's the 24 karat gold crystal gold plate AB. So again, a little hard to find, or hard to see rather, but the AB on this really has a lot of green to it. I just adore it, and it, I think gives a lot of spark to this. You could also go green. Nothing wrong with green. This is the uh, Olive Gold Rainbow, which sombers it up a little bit, which I don't mind. Or you could add a little bit of Spring Sky. I could take out the Polychrome Copper Rose and just go with this. This is the Aqua Graphite Rainbow. Um, and you could even throw like another blue uh, fire polish in there with it. So there's so many ways that you can go when you're mixing your check glass. And I'll tell you, if you don't have check glass that's small in your um, arsenal, I guess your bead arsenal, I like to say, uh, it might be time to add some small beads um, because it's easy to use, you know, big beads and figure out the large beads, what you want. But it's those little moments, those little beads that are in between that really kind of add pop and life to your design. So the three millimeter and the true two, the two millimeters, are just a great thing to have in your arsenal. Um, I also pulled, oh, they're sitting right over here. I didn't, I didn't grab these. Haha, -ha, I've got two more. I've got Luster Iris Peridot. If we really want to not deviate from this um, palette much at all. I've got the Luster Iris Peridot, Iris Peridot, which is this one. And this one is the Luster Rosaline, and a Rosaline. I'm not sure how, um, how you might, I, I'm gonna call it, I guess I'm gonna call it Rosaline, maybe. I don't know. You choose what works for you. And then maybe popping this this gold back in here is really nice. So uh, it just depends on where where you want to go with it. But this um, this Rosaline is just a kind of halfway between peach and rose. It's just so super charming. And then you're going, well, Kate, what threads would you use? Well, I'll tell you what threads I would use. I pulled two. Um, this is micro, and I, we're going to play with this micro. I still have a little while in this broadcast, so we're going to play. We're going to put a few of these beads on the thread so you guys can see how they look. Um, this is, they're both micro Ceylon. This is the gold, and this is one of my favorite Ceylon colors of all time, uh, Copper Rose. And look at what the Copper Rose does, especially if I just leave this one in, the Rosaline, this one and maybe I throw the Milky Celsian back in here with this mix. And it really, I think it adds a lot to it. It's pretty cool. You can also pump it up with this gold. I think this gold looks great with that green. <clears throat> um, and you can pop that gold bead in there too. We have so many colors of um, the Micro Ceylon that, you know, it's so up to you what you choose, okay? So let me get one of Janice's little kind of samples. I wanna move it back to the four because I want you guys to see um, how this is actually put together. And I'm gonna get up close and personal here with this one so you guys can see it. Um, let me get nice and tight in the shot. So again, this is done with uh, micro. Uh, Ceylon. And let's count. Count with me here. Not all of these have been strung yet. So that's three, four, five, six. Okay. We have six tassel strands. And so if we kind of are taking this apart kind of and, and figuring out um, that there are six strands here, where are those six strands going in this little piece? Well, these six strands, if I'm not mistaken, are split and um, two are going underneath here. Let me see. Let me see if I can guess what JP did. Yeah, two 
are going underneath one side, two are going underneath the other side, and it looks like two have been um, started and macrameed up the other side, and then just two more have started here and macrameed up the other side here, if that makes sense. So if I were doing that, and if I were starting, yeah, and you can drop what you don't want. Exactly, exactly right. So let me show you how I might start something like this uh, in real life. So here, and I'm just gonna do this short, and I'm gonna do this in the polychrome, Does which shows up better, let me see. What looks better here? That's the polychrome copper rose. That's the gold. Let me see. They both show up about the same, I guess. I'll get it kind of, kind of tight. Maybe I'll use the gold. A little more of a contrast. So I'm just going to cut short lengths. Obviously, you would cut long lengths for what you were using. Um, I'm just going to cut maybe a little less than the board, and I'm going to go. One, I'm going to cut six. Well, I'm going to start cutting four. Okay. And Janice has a video, I think, on the Heart's Desire necklace. So she's probably started hers a little bit differently than I would start this. Um, thread length, I know. You know, I would probably, for the base... I would go about one and a half times the length that you want your piece to be. And then for the actual macrame portion, you don't really need to worry that much because you can really easily add thread as you're going along when you're macrame. I'm going to go here to the bottom of my board and there we go. Attach my threads down there just so. I've got something to go on to. And see how I would split this? I'm not gonna split it quite yet. Hang on, bear with me here. Let me get some copper, another piece of copper. And let me get a little tighter so you guys can see. And I'm just gonna kind of go, all right, this much is, this is, I don't know, maybe I'd leave about six inches maybe a little bit more depending on the tassel length that you wanted. But I'm gonna go down here because I wanna make this kind of mini. And I'm gonna just, for the moment, um, clip it to the side of my board so I've got tension here. And so I would start the macrame to macrame all of these guys together, okay? And then, um, if I wanted, this is giving me one, two, that's giving me four strands. I could, let me actually put two more strands up there. Let me do this. Because I could add them a little bit later, but I think I'm going to add them now. Each tassel, oh, okay, so Janice actually started working on this first, working it up and then splitting them out. But I'm going to try and bring some order here to all my threads. So if my tassels are going to be down here. So I've got six base threads. You can see that pretty well. Six base threads. Let me count. One, two, Three. Here's the sixth one. Six. Let me attach them to the side there. And so what Janice was saying is all of these threads down here, the base tassels, she would just string up, string the tassels, string them on, string them on. Okay. And let me, I'm just going to tie an overhand knot right there. All right. So if we were just making the tassel portion, I probably wouldn't have a knot, or maybe I would, I don't know. I'd tie a little knot here. Maybe I'd double it over. And I'd just start stringing my beads on. 
okay? And the cool thing about the mix is I would use the 11 knots as little bead stoppers so they just don't jump over your knot. The um, semi-precious that Janice used here has such tiny holes that the beads won't jump over the knots, okay? Um, they, uh, so just double knotting it or using these little 11 knots will solve that problem. So see one and two. And we have a ton of videos on knotting. And I'm also not going to worry too much about where these knots end up because movement in the tassel. I'm going to knot these and then I'll move my um, I'll move my hand so you can see what's going on. So here's this. I'll put on a cube because I can. I'll put on another 11 knot. Any tiny little stopper bead. And these 11 knots are going to add such a lushness to the tassel. I'm not going to even worry about where the knot ends up. I'm just going to knot it. If I can get my fingers to work. There we go. You could always do like Emily does and use the awl for knotting. Like if you really wanted to move it around, uh, you could do that. Come on. There we go. Or you could use your knotting tweezers like I like to use. Or nothing like Janice likes to use. Whatever. But see, they have a little bit of movement on there. So you just knot this, right? Knot, knot, knot. Then you split. And so uh, you could go three and three like this, have three over to that side, and I'm actually going to turn the board here because I'm working on a short end. Let me move all of my delicious monthly mix out of the way. Okay, so can you see, let me bring this down just a little bit. There's my three, my first side. So that my tassel is living over here, right? Make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. And then I'll, I'll also tension it on the board over here. So this would be where I would start, see that? Where I'd start this section. And then down here, is where this is, right? My tassel. Okay. So I'm gonna just start. Where did my thread go? Do you guys see my thread? Yes, it's hiding. There it is. Okay. So I'm gonna get my micro. And of course, I'd do a long piece. But let me get in tight. This is also super tiny. Micro Ceylon, if you're used to working with larger threads, can kind of give you a little bit of the fit. Sometimes, at least for me, it does. Um, but I, I, I get with it pretty quickly. Um, I just ran a little bit of wax over this just to tame it just slightly. So I'm going to go under. Now, all you know, and if you don't, I'll tell you, we have five million, it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but we have many, many um, videos on how we uh, do um, the macrame. So, um, oh, I actually need to, I'm actually macrame upside down. I'm like, wait a minute, there we go. I want it to be this way. I don't want a macrame up, I want a macrame down. There we go, let me get you in the shot. Okay, so there it is. So here, here, here. And our, as I say, under our skill builders, our macrame uh, skill builders will really show you what, what uh, the, the basics of all that. So I'm gonna slide that up, and then I'm gonna slide it over here. So I just, I just start. 
I'm going to make a few, and then I'm going to get the camera in super tight, you guys, so you can see this. But just bear with me here for a moment while I get a few stitches in there, and then we'll play around with what comes next. Because so many things could come next. Okay, there we go. So here, if I'm coming in, there we go. You can see... Um, this how nice and tight it is going on right here and so I've done I don't know about four or five stitches like Jana said she split her threads uh, out without that knot there or you could even as a center you could put another bead over all of this and split them out you could put I just love maybe you could put that little button there and split them out there's a lot of great stuff that you could do um, for the center. Um, so now with this, now we need to decide, okay, what are we gonna put on the threads themselves um, so it fits, so that uh, all of those strands fit through the beads you're lining up like we do with the poetry, okay? So these, uh, the semi-precious, not the semi-precious, the three millimeter um, fire polish, I put a few there. Let's see how they fit on these four strands of Ceylon. Now you could use a needle or you could also do my little needle trick with um, putting glue on the ends, okay, and stiffening those out. Or you could just try and send them through, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send them through two, and then I'm gonna send them through two more. The holes in these beads are huge. The thing, or, I mean, let me take that back, are huge for the side size of the bead. There we go, there's our third one. And let's see our fourth one. Oh, they're already in there. One, two, three, four, right? One, two, three. Why don't I see my other thread? There we go, they're all through there. Oh, so sorry, I only had three threads, not four. I don't know, I, was, I couldn't see it for a minute. So now I'm gonna come around. You can see how that slid down there? Really super easy, okay? And I'll clip this down. And then I'm gonna come around and I'm just gonna macrame around it. Look at how great, oh, doesn't that three millimeter just look like you wanna weep? I need to make one of these. This is the ultimate spring necklace. Let's put something on from the monthly mix, shall we? Just to see how it might look. Then I'll get up close and personal. I love the gold, the way the gold and that milky celsian are looking together. Let's put on a green. And now that I know I only have three strands, <laughs> I won't be looking for a fourth one. Again, you could use a needle. The, the holes on these six aughts are just giant. So let me put a couple of those on. But again, you could stiffen the threads, no big deal. Uh, or you could uh, use that needle. There we go, those are on. And this is down. Okay, so here's this one that I moved down. And we're just gonna go ahead and macrame over that. Look at that. And you have, I hope that your wheels are spinning, your creative wheels. Oops, there we go. There's that, there's that, there we go. Tighten that down. It's so satisfying this project is to me. And you don't have to add a fringe at all. You could just 
poetry with um, the mix and some micro and toss in a couple of Czech glass extravaganzas for interest, All right? There we go. Let's push another one of these down. And we'll just keep going. I'll, again, I'll get the camera in a little bit closer. So you can see it. This gold, doesn't the gold look nice with it? I think it looks really great. Let me get give it here. And you could mix up your Ceylon colors for sure. Um, you really, I've I've seen. I know that some of you, when you post your your creations on um, the bead table, you mixed up your um, bead colors and or your Ceylon colors and stuff, and it really just looks fantastic. So um, I I love it. Um, you know, and for as far as other threads go, Lisa's asking, you know, what are the threads that she could, she could use? My answer is experiment and use what looks right to you, right? Um, you can um, just see what works for you, right? And just see what you like the looks of. There we go. I'm going to add a few more here. Alrighty. And then uh, you could also just use, if you want you shake it up with a little bit of you know our beaded macrame stitch or what we like to call our Bollywood stitch because we've done that in our Bollywood projects you could put some of the mix on the outside here just like so that's with a bigger bead an a dot there we go. I cut myself these tiny little shards of thread here, so they're kind of hard to work with. But see, there we go. So it's all the same. It's just how you apply it. Again, this teeny, teeny little thread with tiny little tails. What was I thinking? But see how you can pre-string it, too, like I put on more of these six aughts there. In the classic poetry project, you do a lot of pre-stringing and then you just bring your beads down. But look at how pretty that little motif is with the six aught, then the two eight aughts in between, and then the six aught again. Let me uh, move this. I'll add a few um, more stitches and then I'll move it out of the way. You know, the uh, we have, Janice has been working on a new uh, Bollywood for the summer and we're gonna have the wonderful Brittany Ketchum coming back uh, to sit in on that Facebook live episode that'll be coming in April um, we're really excited to have her uh, and so we'll be she's the originator one of the originators of our Bollywood projects from way back when on beadshop.com um, so it'll be fun to sh uh, hear her insight on the project and to see uh, to see what she's going to share with us, um, but so as I said, we've got that coming up. But this classic mashup of these stitches, okay, the um, the uh, six aughts and the eight aughts and that little three aught or three aught three millimeter fire polish, just works. I think so beautiful right so beautifully okay you're asking me to add thread because I've I'm running out of thread let me just show you that um, Spidey is saying just okay add some thread okay I'll add thread for you because you know what I'm never afraid to add thread uh, so I'll get my little if I want to I can add just a just a touch of glue here I'm gonna use my hypo I'm gonna add just a little dot right there. Then I'm going to get some more of my gold Ceylon. I'll get a more generous um, helping of thread this time. If I can get it off the spool. Where's the end? You ever have that problem? You're like, wait a minute, where'd that end go? Let me just grab one off of here and find the end. There it is. Okay. 
Um, I'll clip it. This one's a little bit longer. And uh, I've been waiting. I've been letting that glue kind of sit there for the moment. So now I'm just going to kind of bring the, th the threads that I want to get rid of. I'm going to bring them in kind of tight so that the glue maybe holds them down a little bit there. Well, it's holding one, but the other one's unruly, but that's okay. And I'm just going to come in with my thread and just knot over all of these, right? Continue to macrame. This thread is so thin that you don't need to worry about it looking any more bulky right here. Slide on up. And I would add, again, maybe just a touch more glue. I didn't want it to get all over the place, so I was a little um, light-handed with the glue as I did this. There we go. There we go. And now I just continue. And I'd continue on down until I felt like the tails of the old thread were captured in enough. And then I would get rid of them and just continue on my merry way, right? So I'm done right here and done right here, done. And then I just continue on, okay? No big deal. N B. D. Let's look at the closures on this poetry just real quick before we end our time together. Um, oh, West County Cuff, I know we need, I will try and persuade our Brit to come and do West County Cuff because I'll be really honest. I mean, I do think, I play with fire, right? I fire up torches and melt metal and you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff. The West County cuff just scares the beads out of me, right? Just right out of me. Um, so I'd love to have Britt come and teach us all the West County cuff. So we'll see. Um, uh, we'll be, uh, I, I'd really be excited to have her, to have her come and teach all of us. So let's look at the closures uh, on this. Really very simply, we just end it with a button and loop like this. Really super simple. I'd come back, come through that last bead, macrame it back around, send it back through that bead. And you can see just slightly, let me get in a little bit tight, more tightly here. You can see that the macrame has come back up over that original macrame here. So it's just a little bit bigger but that's how we'd close that off. You can also consult the poetry. Um, many of our poetry videos and handouts um, will go over, over it in more detail, but I did wanna show you this one too, um, that had, again, the loop, and then we used our pearl button and we added that little bit of a charm right there, and that pearl button, it's just come through and tied in a knot, um, and so the pearl is used as a button, which I think is beautiful. I know, Faye, it is, uh, it's your favorite. When I think West County Cuff, first I think Brittany, and then I think of you, Faye. I admire both of you because um, <laughs> you give it your all. I love it. Um, and then, yes, Rita, you're asking about my ring. I'll take it off so you guys can look at it. I indeed did make that ring. It's a tourmaline, uh, and tourmaline is, uh, is one of my favorite stones. Of course, you know, I can work with silver and gold, but for the life of me, um, uh, I, I can't do West County Cuff. I mean, I can. I just haven't, haven't tackled it yet. I just love it, though. Okay, so that's, uh, that's what we've got here. So I hope um, this gives you a little bit of inspiration to play around with our monthly mix. Um, you know, it's a, it's a gentle mix this month. Uh, I just I just love it. Uh, and it's really, it is a little bit outside of my color comfort zone, you know, um, which is a good thing, I think. Um, I wanted to, as I'm cleaning up here, I wanted to, uh, I'm going to move the camera around, 
And I wanted to wish everybody, today is March, what is it, March 8th, 2019. It is the International Day of the Woman. And if you have read our email today, uh, Drea, of course, always writes such a great email newsletter. Um, she talks a little bit about us being, you know, a woman-owned company, which is awesome. Um, a woman-owned small business. Um, and uh, she also talked a little bit about what our special is for the day. Uh, we are having a special on um, seed beads, Czech glass, and Ceylon all weekend, and it's 25% off. So if you um, check out our newsletter, or I can just give you the code, it is uh, woman25. Uh, and woman25 uh, is the code, and you will, um, oh, whoops, I lost, will you, will you hold this baby? Ah. Connect. Are we still? Nope. Are we still on? Connecting, connecting. Well, it looks like it's recording. Am I connected? Am I streaming? I think I'm on the... Can you guys see me? I'm gonna wave right here as, oh, am I still on? Okay, awesome. Okay, I just, I can't see me on the thing. Chris, bring that baby back. Chris? Chris, where did he go? Let's get him. <laughs> I agree with you, Cindy. Every day should be International Day of the Woman and International Day of the Kitty. Thank you, there he is. There he is. I just, I just can't see you guys from the front. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Alrighty, well, Thank you, you guys. Uh, as you can see, he's like, oh, I don't want to beat him with a cat. There he goes. So as I said, it's Woman 25 on uh, seed beads, check glass, and seal on. So uh, thanks, you guys, so much for joining me on this uh, Facebook free tip Friday today. Um, it does say I'm live streaming, and I can see all of you here, and I can see you here. So. I'm all good. Oh, and Chris, Chris just left. Yes, you guys, we'll have, we'll have, a, he, he just came in, ran in, grabbed the cat and ran out. So um, he'll give you a little, a little shout out maybe or a little hi uh, soon, but he's doing a great job in shipping and we're super stoked to have him. So, um, so I hope you guys had fun. Uh, we are going to come back on Wednesday and have Janice for this great, uh, her great project, the Mala Project, that we're gonna do together. Um, and it's gonna be a real joy to have her back here on Facebook Live. So have a fantastic, wonderful, uh, creative weekend, you guys. And I will see you next week, right here uh, on our live broadcast. Thanks so much. All right, see you guys soon.